Hello, and thank you for joining us today. My name is Leslie McWhorter, and I'm the Stratter Product Manager. I'm here today to go over utilizing templates in Stratter 5. In Stratter, you can save a view or an entire project as a template. If you just save a view as a template, the view itself with all of the formatting is saved, but no data tables are saved. If you save the entire project as a template, all of the views and all of the data tables are saved, but the data is not saved in the tables, so you can load new data into them for a new project. I'll be covering the following topics in today's webinar. How to save a template, how to load templates into a project with the same table names as the file the template was saved from, how to load templates into a project with different table names than the file the template was saved from, and how to load templates into an empty project with no data. After I address each of these topics, I'll stop for a few minutes to answer any questions you might have. You can send a question to me via the question function. To chat a question to me, type your question into the question box in your GoToWebinar control panel and click send. If you do not see this control panel, but instead just see a small grab tab, click the arrow to expand the control panel and then click view auto hide the control panel to keep the control panel visible. This webinar will also be recorded, so after the webinar is finished, the video will be available on our website at www.goldensoftware.com. Click on the Strider 5 homepage and then go to the Training Videos tab and click Webinar. Okay, so let's begin. I'm going to go ahead and open a new instance of Strider. So the first place to start when working with templates is to create a project exactly as you want it. In this instance, I'm going to go ahead and open a sample file, cross-section.sdg, and pretend like this is our finalized project. So I'm going to click File, Open. I'm going to go to the Strata 5 Samples directory and click cross-section.sdg and click Open. So once your project is fully customized, you can save a full template with these steps. Click File, Save As. In the Save As dialog, change the Save As type to a Strata template file, to so .tsf file. I'm going to save this to my desktop. You're going to give your file a name and a file path, and then click Save and your template is saved. Alternatively, if you just wanted to save one view out of your project as a template, you can do so by right-clicking on the view name in the View Manager, clicking Save Template of Current View, and then your Save As type is automatically set to a template file so you can go ahead and give your file a name. And I'm going to use the same name, but I'm going to add a dash BV for borehole view because there's no difference between the file extension um, for a full and a, a view only template. So when I click Save, um, the, the view only template for my borehole view is saved. Now before we do anything else with this project, we'll I'm going to go ahead and save the data out so we can use it to populate our templates later. Um, so to do that, I'm just going to click to one of the tables, click File, Export Data, Multi-Sheet XLSX. I'm going to call this Template Data and click Save. And I want to save all of these tables out, so I'll leave them all checked and click OK. Okay, so that's it for saving templates. Um, are there any questions before we move on to loading templates? Um, someone is asking what's the difference between the two templates. Um, the view only template just saves 
the single view that you're on along with any schemes needed to recreate that view. It does not contain any other views or any data tables. The full template saves all of the views in the project with their associated schemes and it also saves empty versions of the data tables with the same names that they had. Um, someone else, else is asking, can you save multiple views to a view template? Uh, no, the view only template is only for a single view. If you want multiple views, um, but not the entire project, you'll need to save each of them individually to a view only template. And you can load multiple templates into a single file, so you can load those all back into this same file if you wish. Um, Oh, it looks like there's another question coming in. Um, someone's asking, is there anything that isn't saved to a template? No, uh, if you save a template and then you load the exact same data that was used to create that, that file, you'll get the exact same view or project that you started with. Okay, um, I don't see any other questions, so we'll go ahead and move on. Um, so now that we have these templates, let's see how to load them in. The easiest case is loading the templates back into the same project that it was created from, since all of the tables exist and they have the same names that the template is looking for. Um, so let me just take a quick second to clarify what I mean by that. So as you can see in this project, we have four data tables. We have LAS data, stratigraphy, collars, and well data. If I load the templates we just created into a different Strata project, Strata is going to look for LAS data, stratigraphy, collars, and well data tables in order to populate the views with the data. If we have this information, but it's in tables with different names, we're going to have to tell Strata which tables are associated with this data in each of these four tables. Um, so if we were to open either of the templates into this project by using the file open command, since all of this, the data tables that we need already exist, each of the views in the template file are going to be opened and the logs will be populated with data. In most cases, you'll do this for the view only templates. For example, here, all of the logs in our borehole view are for the well South Barrow 17. We can tell this if we um, click on View, Display, View Properties. Down here in the Property Manager, you'll see that the whole ID filter is South Barrow 17. That means all of these logs are for that single well. So if we wanted all of these logs formatted in the same way, but for another well, like South Barrow 16, we could click File, Open, or we can right click in the view manager and click load template. We're going to select our borehole view template and click open. And you'll see that another borehole view is added to our project. This is still for borehole um, South Barrow 17. So to change this, again, we click view, display, view properties, and we'll just change that whole ID filter in the property manager to South Barrow 16. You'll see all of the curves have changed to reflect the data from South Barrow 16, but the formatting is the same as our other um, as our other borehole view. Another common use case for this view only template is duplicating a view at another scale. For example, if we wanted all of all of these South Barrow 17 logs, but we wanted to, to zoom into this view between 200 and 500 feet. Um, we could again open, we could either click File Open or right click in the View Manager. We're going to select that same borehole view and click Open. Um, but this time, instead of modifying the whole ID filter, we're going to modify the scale. Um, so again, click View. Display View Properties. In the Property Manager on the View page, we'll scroll down. And then in the Depth section, we're going to set Depth Settings to User Defined. We can set 
our starting borehole depth to 200 and our ending borehole depth to 500. And then I'm going to check the box next to this auto recalculate scale to stretch that over the entire page. So if you had something in this view that, um, that needed closer inspection that you needed to zoom into, you could do that by just creating a, um, a template of it. Um, it looks like, um, so you can, you can load a full template in the same way by either right clicking and clicking load template or by clicking file open, selecting the template and clicking open and it'll load all of your views. Um, so are there any questions about loading a template when your data tables have the same names as the data tables in the project the template was saved from? Uh, it looks like someone is doing, but I can, or someone is saying, but I can do that directly on borehole 17. That's correct. If you had a single view, let's go back to borehole, um, you could certainly change the whole ID filter or the scale um, on this view. But if you wanted this view exactly as it is, and you wanted to leave it that way, you could create a template and then create a new borehole view from it. Um, someone else is asking, um, when I load my template in, the logs look funny, um, but changing the data doesn't change them. What's going on? Um, if the logs look funny and they're not updating with the data, in 99% of cases, um, they're in design mode rather than active mode. I'm going to go over this more later, but in a nutshell, that just means that they're not displaying the data. Um, so you can turn off design mode by clicking log, display, design mode, and then your log should update with your data. Okay, and then someone else is asking, you loaded the template into this same project, but can you do this for a new project? Absolutely. Um, the process is the same regardless of the project, as long as the tables have the same names. Um, so I can go ahead and open up a new Strata project. Um, oops. I can load my data in um, by clicking file open, grabbing that data file that we had, oops, sorry, I'm going to do open multiple data files so I can open them all at once. Um, I'm going to select each of those and I'm going to just zoom through these um, these import dialogs because that's something um, that's kind of out, outside of the scope of this webinar, but we do have a training video um, specifically about um, opening and importing data. Okay, and then one more. This one is actually a text item table. Okay, so if the data is already loaded in like this, again, we could just click File Open, click one of our, um, our template files, and click Open, and you'll see that everything is still populated with data, just as it was um, for the previous, previous file. Okay, um, let's see, so if there are no more questions, which it doesn't look like there are, let's go ahead and move on to loading data, or loading templates into a project containing different named data tables. Um, so now let's say that we have a new project that has the same kind of data, but the tables are named differently than LAS data, collars, stratigraphy, and well data. Um, we can certainly load the template. Um, so to see this, I'm going to start with a new Strata project. Um, so let's just go ahead and click. I don't want to save the changes. And again, I'm going to use File, Open Multiple Data Files. I'm going to select the data we saved earlier. And I'm going to open all of those tables. Finish. Next and finish. 
Next, finish, next, and finish. Okay, so and I'm going to go ahead and rename these. Um, so I'm going to use the table, table, rename command. I'm just going to add a 2 onto the end of these. Um, so that way, these aren't, whoops, these aren't the same names um, that they had when when we first created the template. And we'll do that for callers as well. Table, rename. Okay, so now all of these have a 2 on the end. They have different names. So let's go ahead and load our full template into this project. Go ahead and click File Open. We'll choose our TSF file and click Open. Now you'll see this dialog, Import Template Data. In this dialog, we can either import the data for the tables that the template is looking for, or we can click Cancel and the logs will be loaded in design mode. And the tables will be created empty. Um, for each of the tables listed here, it lists what type of table it is. It gives you the option to preview the columns in the table so you know exactly what you need to load. And you can import the data in the action column. So we're going to go ahead and click import data. Um, we're going to choose our data file and click open. And then this is our callers table, so we're going to deselect all and check callers and click OK. We'll step through these import dialogs again. Everything should be matched up because it's the exact same file as before and click open. Um, and you'll notice that once the data is loaded, the, the import data button turns green and it has the file name exclamation point sheet name. So that way we can tell that that data has been loaded. So we'll repeat this process for our stratigraphy. And our LAS, or I'm sorry, our well data. To select, okay. Okay, um, now we're going to actually leave LAS data alone for right now. We're not going to import that. So when I click OK, um, you'll see that the cross section is created and each of the map views is created because those come from the caller's information. But the borehole view is empty, and that's because our LAS data table is empty. Um, you may do this if you don't have this data table right now, or if this is in like a paper format and you need to type it in. Um, if you get this data later, you can just click File, Import Data, and then you can import the data for this particular um, for this particular table. So I'm going to click LAS data. And everything is matched up. So in this dialog, I kind of breezed by it, but um, on the left here, we have the data columns, and on the right, we have the table columns. Um, so these table columns are what we saw in the preview in that other dialog. And we just want to make sure that if they have different names, that they're matched up to the appropriate column um, from the data to the table. So we'll click Import, and then once this data comes in, you'll see that now the logs are populated because this came in in active mode. Um, so the data automatically updates the logs. Um, so another option, as I mentioned, is to import the template and click Cancel. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do this again. I'm going to open up a new instance of Stratter. And this time I have saved out um, that version of the project that just has those template names that are named differently. So the data is loaded. It's loaded with different table names. Um, and so what we're going to do now is we'll open up the template again, the full template. We'll click Open, but in this Import Template Data dialog, we're going to click Cancel. So you'll see that the logs in the cross-section and in the borehole view um, 
look very generalized and there are no points in either of the map views. Um, so let's see. So this is because um, if you look here in the view manager, this is in design mode, as I mentioned it would be. Um, and so these logs are generalized representations of the various log types, which are fictitious representations intended to give the impression of how the borehole will look when the actual data is attached. Um, design mode is enabled when you load a template without data, as we've done here. But it's also useful if you want to design your views before you have the data to populate them. Say you know you're going to, you're going to go out on a survey and you're going to take a bunch of data, but you already know what format you want those data to be loaded into. You could go ahead and create your, your views in template or in a design mode, and then you could load the data in once you collected it. Um, so before we move on, I'm going to go ahead and delete these empty tables that were just created. And now we're going to load um, the, the view only template into this project with the different temp with the different table names. Um, so I'm going to right click in the view manager and click load template. I'm going to click the borehole view template this time and click open. Um, so you'll notice again that you're not prompted for the data because the, the borehole view doesn't contain any tables to load data into. Um, so all we need to do, um, you'll see the the generalized um, views here, so we can go ahead and change it to um, active mode that gets rid of all of the logs because we don't have the tables that that um, the logs are looking for. So we can select each of the logs in the object manager and just give it a table. So these are going to come from the LAS um, data to And you'll see that we now have some curves. Um, so are there any questions um, about loading templates into projects containing data tables with different names than the original data tables? Um, someone's asking if I accidentally click cancel in the loading data dialog, can I get back to it? Um, no, there's no way to reopen that dialog, but again, if you click cancel, those empty data tables are created. So you can just click through those and import the data like we showed earlier. Um, someone else is saying, I can't find where to turn off design mode for the map views. That's because there is no design mode for the map views. Um, design mode is only for logs. So in the map views, which don't have logs, um, the base maps are retained as is, as you can see here, because they, they aren't affected by the data. Um, and the data points will appear as soon as a, an appropriate colors table is loaded. So if I were to click um, on the map one tab here and, and click on the wells one layer, it could set the colors table to colors two, and then you'll see the points appear. Um, and so someone else is asking, when we load the data into the import template data dialog, why can't we leave all of the sheets selected and import them all at once? That's a great question. Um, when we click that import data button for a specific table, it's locating it, or it's loading data into that table type. So for the colors table, for instance, if we had left all of those checked, it would have tried to import all of them into colors tables, which isn't appropriate. So, um, so that's why we didn't do that. Um, are there any more questions? Okay. Uh, uh, 
Okay, someone's asking if you can digitize a log and import it. Um, yes, you can. Uh, that's that's with our Digger um, program. Um, so you could certainly you could digitize a, a raster log in Digger and export it as an LAS file, um, and then you could import that LAS file into Stratter. You do need Digger for that because Stratter can import raster logs, but it doesn't have the ability to digitize them at this point. Um, Francois is asking, can we do batch imports? Um, it depends on what type of file you're looking for. For example, if you're importing data files, you could do file open multiple data files, as we've done. Um, LAS, yeah, certainly you could use imp you could use the open multiple data files command to import um, a bunch of LAS files at once. What you would do is you would select all of those files and then it would loop you through those import dialogs until um, until you had imported all of them. Okay, um, so the the last thing we're going to go over today then is how to load templates into an empty project. So I'm going to go ahead and um, create a new project. Um, you can click File, New Project, or click that little icon I just clicked. I'm not going to save the changes to this file. Um, so an empty project has opened. Let's start by loading the full template. So we're going to click File, Open. In the Open dialog, I'm going to select the full template TSF and click Open. Um, and you'll notice again the same import template data dialog appears as did before. Um, so there's there's not much difference when you're locate when you're importing um, a template into an empty file as um, as when you're importing into a a project that has data tables that are named differently than the original data tables. Um, so again, here we can either import the data. Or we can just click cancel um, and everything comes in in design mode. So I'm going to click file new project again. I'm not going to save these changes and we'll load the view only template. So I'm going to click open, um, click the, the borehole view template we created and click open. So again here the template is loaded in design mode and you're not prompted for data. Um, the difference here, um, the difference being from from the case where you had differently named tables, is that you don't have tables that you can just select. So you actually have to load the tables in in order to um, populate these with data. So you can either um, open the data. For example, I could I could open. Um, sb16.las and then I could let Stratter know to use that table and that whole ID and again after you click this then um, you'll need to turn design mode off so click log display design mode and now you'll see the logs have populated So are there any questions about loading a template into an empty project or about anything else that we've covered in this webinar? Um, someone is asking, how do we save the template once we've loaded data? The template itself doesn't contain data. So say, um, say I have this view and I want to save this now um, with the data, you would just click File save or save as and you would make sure that the save as type is set to Stratter files SDG. So that's the the project file and that contains the views, everything needed to create them and the data in the tables. Um, so are there any more questions?
Okay, so someone is saying they have Strator 2 files that they want to load in. You can definitely load Strator 2 template or SDG files into Strator 3, 4, and 5. Um, uh, it doesn't look like there are any more questions. Um, so that that concludes this webinar. Um, if you have any additional questions after the webinar is concluded, um, you can go ahead and email those to stratersupport at goldensoftware.com. Um, again, thank you very much for, for your time today. And if there are any questions I haven't answered, um, I will be sure to email you about those soon. Thank you. Have a great day.